When we're talking about the wealthiest nations in the world, we cannot dispute the fact that Norway is one of them. People know the country to be so rich, but the reason for their wealth is not so obvious to many. Well, the obvious thing is that Norway has large quantities of oil. Of course, this may be your first conclusion. However, most oil-rich small nations always suffer from severe social and economic issues. That is why countries do not really depend on oil to bring them wealth. How Norway managed to avoid the oil curse to become the economic powerhouse it is today? Why is the country so rich and where does the prosperity come from? How does Norway even possess the perfect economy we're talking about? That's exactly what we're bringing to you in today's video. So watch this video to the end because it's going to be very interesting. Let's take you back to the late 18th century when climatically harsh Danish controlled Norway. Norway used to have a very tiny population, and the people who resided lived a meager existence, subsisting off of their small farms and whatever they could catch in the sea. Things were not just right for its citizens back then. The winters shrouded the country in near darkness, the amount of land suitable for agriculture was so minimal. Struggles upon struggles. It was even almost impossible to efficiently travel in this mountainous country. This made towns become remote and isolated, and believe it, virtually all of its citizens were poorly educated. The country was so poor that its residents couldn't even afford basic things. Things got even worse, plagued with blockades, embargoes, and wars. Let's not even talk about the economy that was in ruins and the famines that spread across the land. Even after all these problems Norway faced, they were still able to overcome them. Let's take a look at how wealthy Norway really is. Many people believe that Norway is a relatively poor country until it discovered oil and gas in the North Sea. This may be somewhat true, but in reality, it is also a slight misconception. In the 19th century, Norway's wealth was just slightly above average compared to other European countries at the time. Norway was also behind Sweden and Denmark until recently, when their economy transformed in terms of wealth. As we speak, things have indeed changed, with Norway's income now between 10 to 20 percent higher than its two neighbors, Sweden and Denmark. When measured by GDP per capita, Norway is currently the sixth richest country in the world. According to IMF estimates, the country's GDP per capita is about $69,000. Although Sweden and Denmark both make the top 20 with GDPs of around $55,000 and $61,000 respectively, they currently can't stand Norway in terms of wealth. In almost every metric that measures the prosperity of a nation, Norway is near the top, and nearly all its citizens are technically quarter millionaires. Many countries have even tried to execute what Norway has executed, but it just wasn't working for them. We have countries with the world's largest reserves of oil, and they collectively account for 84.9% of the remaining supply. Even at that, they still manage to make 7.9% of the world's GDP. Countries like Saudi Arabia, Iran, Iraq, Kuwait, and the UAE are suffering from human rights abuses and extreme inequality. Let's not even talk about Russia that has been in decline for decades. So. There has been a trend between the amount of oil per citizen and how undemocratic the country is. If you have heard about the oil curse, this is what it means. This has made many countries try to move towards better and cleaner sources of energy, but what these countries do not understand is that oil will always be a necessity today and even for a long time. It is certain that oil has played a significant role in Norway's wealth. Indeed, oil is essential for three main reasons. Firstly, it has provided a high income to the Norwegian economy in both the private and public sectors. It has also provided export earnings that can pay for imports. Thirdly, it has provided an entirely productive industry to the country. Even though we all know that oil has played a large part in the development of Norway, we should also know that it isn't the only reason Norway is so well off. Let's talk about the country's labor force and natural resources. Indeed, one of the reasons for Norway's wealth is also because of the well-educated labor force, productive public and private sectors, and rich natural resources. Also, it is very easy for Norway to purchase goods at low prices from the international markets and then sell them at reasonably high prices. So, it isn't Norway's income from oil that has contributed to the Nordic country's wealth. The country also puts its oil revenues into the government pension fund. This pension fund is the world's largest sovereign wealth fund. 
This means the government pension fund is a giant savings pot that generates and makes its income by investing in over 900,000 companies all over the globe. In the age of free international trade, Norway also designed the world's fourth largest merchant fleet, which gained them valuable expertise in shipping, trade, and technology. This trade was also a major source of foreign currency. The Wealth Fund is an essential source of funding for the government, with around every fifth kroner of government spending coming from the oil fund. Without the fund, the government would have to dramatically lower its spending or raise taxes across the board, according to Malum. Beyond material wealth, the oil fund also plays a part in Norway's societal wealth, with money from the fund being invested in health, education, and welfare. Norway is the sixth happiest country on Earth, according to the UN's World Happiness Report for 2021, thanks in part to its well-funded welfare, education, and health systems making it not just one of the wealthiest countries in the world, but also one of the happiest. Norway still has some of the highest taxes in the world, but one certain thing is that residents don't have to worry about paying medical bills they cannot afford. This is because Norway has managed to maneuver it carefully and set itself up for the foreseeable future. But we shouldn't forget that oil is still an integral part of the Norwegian economy, as it does not only provide high-paying jobs, but still maintains many other productive industries. All right, let's look at this question that has been bothering the hearts of many. Will Norway stay wealthy as oil and gas are phased out? This is indeed an important question we really should buttress when discussing Norway's vast natural resources. People have been wondering what will happen to the economy when oil and gas run out and are no longer needed. Indeed, the economy will be in for a massive shakeup once the oil wells run dry and demand drops as the world looks to greener energy. Malum said, when Norway stops producing oil at current high prices, the economy is in for a serious transformation, as high-paying jobs will disappear, profitable businesses will also disappear, and important tax income will disappear. The fund will cushion part of this transformation, not least because the government can continue using the fund even as the oil tax goes down. The truth is, if oil decides to go away, it's going to hurt Norway so deeply. However, it's still going to be one of the wealthiest nations on Earth. This does not specifically mean Norway has a perfect economy or one that other nations should seek to replicate. We understand that the country has been given an incredibly fortunate situation, but its reliance on the public sector has reduced competition and potential growth. In fact, Norway's cost of living is among the highest in the world. So, we believe more is still to come for Norway, and even in the midst of the current economic crisis, Norway is still a force to reckon with in terms of wealth. And that's it for today, guys. If you enjoyed this video, make sure you subscribe to this channel and give this video a like. Thanks for watching. See you in the next video.